Hello, welcome back. You're watching The Mode Hub and today our very first video is a look inside my nail art kit. In my kit I have lots of things that are to hand for quickness in the salon whether it's a gel polish and the client wants a bit of nail art, or whether it's acrylic and we're doing a whole design set, or if you're at home and you want to do your own nails, there's things in my kit that you guys will probably have in yours too. And I'm going to show you what I use. First thing I think anybody who's interested in nails needs to have in their kit is glitter. So let's have a look. All right, so here, we have a really, really nice baby pink glitter. Lovely. This is from Diamond Glitters. I'll drop their link in the bottom. It's called Ballet Slippers. 008 in fineness. Oh, so pretty. Don't worry, I've sanitized my hands, guys. Okay, lovely. So we'll leave that here. Then we have a chunkier glitter. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is from Nail Gargoyle. This is their DMG Blush Glitter. These would go nice together, actually. So there's that one. And then, so much glitter. Choosing was really difficult. Here is a combo. Can you see? This is from a lovely nail tech called Sonia Williams. She is based in the UK. She does glitter and it is stunning. So we've got three different glitters and you are going to be able to use these to do all sorts of things like pressing into a tacky layer of gel polish for instance. This is fine. These will go but they're better for encapsulation in acrylic. So yes, you need all of it fine and chunky. Then after the cut glitter comes boil. I absolutely love foil. It's my go-to for my clients that are very indecisive maybe, oh I'm not sure, oh I don't want glitter, but they'll have foil. It should be completely smooth and you shouldn't feel any of it. Two top coats on top, um, very, very quick. It's always to hand, it's quite cheap to buy and you need lots of it. Here's just one bag of mine, one bag. I have a whole box full of foils. Um, fantastic, fantastic, you can layer them matte top coat them they look fantastic and yeah i'm going to show you a little bit about them now here are some colors here's a nice bronzy gold foil yeah you can see i've used bits of it and this is just where it's been folded and thrown around it's not a not an expensive one here is a lovely holographic pink one you can see lovely you do get quite a bit in these foils yeah grab them online here's a purple one Capri's purple lovely so all you're gonna do with your foil is take a tiny piece you need to wipe the back with your dehydrator so your lint free wipe like this your dehydrator like this and you're gonna wipe the back of the foil. Why? Why are you wiping the back of the foil? It's not the nail, but there is a good reason for that. You want the foil to be as thin as possible towards the colour of that foil. So if you've got like a film or a barrier in the way, you're not always going to get a good transfer. Yeah? So we wanted to get rid of that foil transfer barrier. We do that with dehydrator. All right. Pressing the foil into the wet inhibition layer of your gel polish slow and rubbing that on is going to give you more coverage quick and fast going to give you like a sparse rougher coverage either or looks good like i said you can layer it as well so i think foil is my favorite okay next up are pigments anybody know what they are hmm, yeah I love them. I tend to love everything, don't I? I think you get the gist here. I love everything. Um, here are some that I have in my kit. These are 
Sam Biddle's Be Creative Pigments and they are lovely. Okay, these are from, can you, can you see them? There we go. The Pretty Range, we've got Have a Heaven, Romantic Rose, Tiffany Blue, let me show you. These, you don't need a lot of. You must have them in your kit like me. Burnish these into a tacky layer gel polish and they are stunning. Can you see? I'll drop the link for these guys as well. Um, Sam is amazing, amazing woman. Let's turn that around. I've had the pleasure of knowing her for about six years and these are hers. So yeah, everybody needs pigments. Lots and lots and lots of color. Oh, beautiful. So we've done glitter, we've done foil and um, we've done pigments. Hopefully you guys have got these and you're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna grab mine out and try something. Try it. The other thing I like, which took the world by storm, oh, a few years back now, are chrome pigments. Finding a good chrome is really, really hard. Um, this is one of my favorites. This is the chrome S and this is by Nail Gaga. I'll show you now you can see how fine that is and that's important find a chrome make sure it's a nice found ground powder and you will get amazing results everybody loves chrome look at this so i have quite a few chromes i have colored chromes um green, purple, gold, pink, a proper silver as well. I think they're a must because clients love, love, love the colours. So if you haven't got any, go and get some. I'll drop you a couple of links where, you know, I know I've got some from in my, my kit. So see what you think. Another um, exciting thing is a mermaid pigment. If you haven't heard of a mermaid pigment, wrong with you mermaid pigment is amazing it gives like a pearlescent finish to any color so if you've got a blue it will turn it it'll still stay blue but it'll have like a pearly uh, translucent finish on the top it's absolutely gorgeous it looks like this so can you see this one's got sort of a gold green tinge you can see that in the light as i turn that around absolutely lovely this again is another nail gaga product really fine really really nice all you do with the mermaid pigment exactly like a chrome pigment you burnish that into a no wipe top coat perfect you need to use them so there are a few extra things oh my god my kit is huge a few extra things that you need in yours um everybody's seen these online these can i show you here foil but gold leaf there we are. Look at this. This just is so light. You don't even know you've got it in your hand. This is so cheap and everybody will have this. Yeah, it just needs, as you can see, pressing in. This is a top coat and it works. No white top coat, so. You can see that it works. It's fantastic. Very, very light. You only need a tiny bit. Use your tweezers, just don't sneeze. All right, the next three products I have in my kit are different. You might not have them in your kit, but I've got them in mine and I like them. I like everything. Here they are. So we have little tiny, you can see them all falling out, little tiny beads that are great. These are red. You can get them in any color. You can get them a little bit bigger and bigger again if you like. These are tiny. These go around a crystal placement just to add detail. You can use them in your top coat, fantastic. These ones are from Nail Artist um, in Germany, but we do have a UK distributor and I know both distribute you worldwide. So these are a must. I'll drop the link guys. And then these are, if I can get one out for you, or a few, can you see these? They're like a 3D, but you would, embed these 
They look nice encapsulated and they look nice on top, but they give you a rough finish. Clients like, my hair. Oh, dear me. Then these are chameleon flakes. So like the foil, uh, the gold one a second ago, the gold leaf foil, oh, they are so, so fine. You don't need a lot. Can you see that the chameleons, they change colour? Oh, have like an orangey, greeny one as well. These are lovely. You can burnish into a top coat or um, they can be pressed into a tacky layer of gel polish. Seems to be a theme there. Everything goes into a tacky layer of gel polish. So, we have covered a lot. We've covered glitter, foil, gold leaf, um, pigments. <laughs> Oops. Pigments, that was the dehydrator. Um, Bit of a mess, but we're back. Okay, <laughs> more nail art. Um, paints, 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 paints. Do any of you paint nail art, anything? Um, a dot, a rose, one stroke? I do, and in my kit are must have paints um, in, oh God, so many colors. These are my three favorite brands. Um, they have so much pigment in them, it's unbelievable. They are, Hazel Dixon's range, her HD Pro range. She is such an inspirational woman. She travels all over the world. She's a multi award winning artist. Uh, wherever she goes, trophies follow her home. She's amazing. So she's bought out her range and love these. Here you go. All right. I'll drop the link. I'll drop the link. I haven't forgotten. Then these ones. Nail Gargars, Colour Splash, lovely, very, very soft, uh, lovely to work with, absolutely, and love their products. Again, I'll drop the link for these. Uh, similar bottles, as you can probably see. There we go. Ooh. These have been out a while, a while now. Um, I've had them for a long, long time. So that's them too, right there. Third one is Nail Artist Orgasmic um, Paints. Some of these bottles have got some pictures on there. So, just be prepared. Um, beautiful, beautiful paints. You get so much for your money in this. This is a huge bottle. Okay, here we go. You can see the difference there, but look at the pictures. <laughs> so yes, be prepared, be prepared. It's all a bit fun called Orgasmic, they are fantastic. So we've got um, Hazel Dixon's Nail Gargar and Nail Artist, and you can just see they're lovely. These are acrylic paints, and these are gonna be used for nail art painting. What else is left? Surely there can't be any more in your kit, because my kit is huge. We have, bling, a lot of bling, all right. Bling, and this is just Two, two of many. Swarovski crystals are my absolute go-to. I have clients that say, oh, won't they get caught in my hair? And I'm like, no, 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 have them. Oh, but they'll fall off. No, 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 you need them. And this, you know, it's probably a conversation quite a lot of you have with your clients. I've just done a set actually on a, um, a lovely friend of mine who's just recently got engaged and she has never had crystals before because she thinks it gets in the hair. So she was like, oh, I want crystals. I was like, oh, okay. We'll put them there, we'll put one there, there, there. And she's like, no, 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 <laughs> I just want one. We didn't do one, but we did a cluster on her engagement finger and then repeated it on the other hand and she doesn't even know they're there. So for those clients that tell you, oh, I don't like them, they get caught, try them. Just try one little one, right on the corner, sitting at the base of the nail. Lovely. Here's what I have. So, oh, absolutely gorgeous. I've opened a couple here for you to see. Close it. Beautiful sparkle on them. All right. They come in a range of sizes. They're not expensive. I don't think they're expensive. 
a couple of couple of pound. So, oh, absolutely gorgeous. So crystal range from an SS3 all the way up to 40, 42 and, and bigger, all right. An SS3, 5, 7, 9, 12, even a 16 um, is fantastic for nail art, uh, you know, depending on how exuberant you want to go. If you are setting just small ones into your gel polish or into your finished acrylic set, this is my favourite. This is Nail Gargoyle's Bling Glue, okay? If you are setting bigger crystals in your nails and you've got like a box of really nice big sparkly gems, they're gonna need to be set in acrylic, um, the weight of them, and no gel will sort of hold a massive, massive cluster. Acrylic is the best way for that. And last but not least, what do we have? Oh, everybody's got this. Everybody hates striping tape. If you've got this and you think, what the hell is that? Can you see it? It's so fine. Everyone's just like, oh, it won't come off my finger. It won't stick to my client's finger. And they're just like, oh my God, I absolutely hate it. I'm not using it. But it's good. It's good. If you have a lovely line down the centre of your nail and you put crystals top and bottom, it will stay in. Two layers of top coat, guys, it will stay on. Just don't cut it right to the edge. Cut it just before and then you'll seal it in with your top coat. Jobs are good in. So yeah, I have a few other bits, but God, we've been here chatting about bling um, for a while. I will tell you about the applicators though uh, from where are these from? I can't remember where these from. They're really cheap, maybe Poundland. Um, you need to make sure that when you're using an applicator for any product you're burnishing, it doesn't have this, the, the really plasticky bit in the middle because that'll scratch. So we do need nice, soft and squidgy eyeshadow applicators. All right, so that was it. That was my nail art kit. You guys have seen everything I've got in, but I obviously have multiples of those things. I haven't just got one. Um, and as I'm sure, your drawers are absolutely full of glitter too. If you've enjoyed this video, please like the video, subscribe, share the video, click on the bell, get notified when we put up more. What else do you wanna see? I've got a few interesting things coming up and hopefully you'll be here with us. Bye.